Ruben Amorim can turn misfiring Rasmus Hodgland into Man United's own Victor Jokers. Ben Ashworth driving force behind Manchester United's genius next move. Beyond Dublin has briefly put himself in Rasmus Hodgland's shoes and is contemplating what life would be like for a centre forward in the current Manchester United team. If I was in that United side I'd probably lose a lot of pals on match days because of the way I'd react to players not crossing the ball, the former United striker tells Telegraph Sport. I get it's different times, different kinds of players, a different era, but as a winger, you need to deliver the ball. Your responsibility is to provide that end product. How many times does Alejandro Garnacho, as good a player as he is, get down the wing and cross it? Anthony Rashford the same. Of the many challenges facing Ruben Amorim as United's new head coach, addressing the chronic shortage of goals in a team who finished with a negative goal difference under Eric Ten Hag last season, and who this term have conceded as many as they have scored, is principal among them. Victor Jokers plundered 66 goals in 68 matches under Amorim for sporting following a £20 million move from Coventry in July last year, so it feels somewhat inevitable the prolific Sweden striker is now being heavily linked with a summer move to United. Internally, though, United wonder if they may already have a Jokers style solution in their midst. I would be licking my lips if I was Hodgland, says Danny Weber, the former United striker and academy graduate who watches the club regularly in his role as a pundit for MUTV. Jokers was good at Coventry, and already a full international. You don't get bought by sporting from there if you're not doing the right things. But I do think Amorim took his game on to another level. There are no guarantees Amorim will do for Hodgland at United what he did for another Scandinavian in Lisbon, even if the club really do need their £72 million signing from Atalanta to shine after so many transfer disappointments, but the profiles and raw attributes of the two players are not dissimilar, strength, speed, running power, a wide variety of finishing and hard-working, and Amorim may feel he has a useful template from which to cultivate the Denmark striker. The difference, of course, is Jokers has benefited from a cohesive structure and system that played to his strengths, from which his output and confidence soared. Hodgland, by contrast, has had much the opposite at United, a disjointed team who play in moments, with few established patterns of play and who seldom cross the ball. At the very least, Amorim needs to find a way to improve the supply line to Hodgland at the same time as getting the striker into the positions where he is most dangerous. The responsibility for Hodgland not scoring goals isn't just his, Dublin says. United don't cross the ball, Sporting do. United's wingers, for example, chop back all the time. Dublin feels United are not giving Hodgland the chances his work ethic really deserves. I like him and his attitude and I can see him thriving if they can give him the service and get the crosses in. He said, I don't think he's going to be a 35 goal a season man, but he is a good finisher and they have to give him that opportunity to show it. In other news, Dan Ashworth Manchester United have held more talks in recent weeks about the feasibility of making a move for Everton centre-back Jared Branthwaite in January, according to the Daily Mail. Sporting director Dan Ashworth is a driving force behind the interest in the Toffee star and United have been handed a boost as he has refused to sign a new contract. Everton have held firm to their £70 million valuation for Branthwaite since Man United first came calling last summer. However, they could be forced to sell the Englishman during the winter transfer window if an offer close to their asking price is tabled. The Red Devils need to make sales to generate funds ahead of January if they want to comply with profitability and sustainability rules, and new manager Ruben Amorim will be tasked with identifying the players not in his plans as soon as possible. Man United had bids rejected worth up to £45 M for Branthwaite in the summer, but they remain keen on securing his services given the level of interest in him from rival clubs. Talks have now been held internally to coordinate their next approach, and the player reportedly wants to join United. The Everton star has plenty of admirers at the club, but it will be intriguing to see whether they are willing to pay up to £70 million pounds for him. Injuries prevented Branthwaite from making his England debut during the international break this month, and he has what it takes to play for the biggest clubs on the planet. A back three of him, Lenny Euro and either Mathij, Delict or Lissandro Martinez could make the Red Devils impregnable at the back. They may need to wait until summer to have a chance of landing him, as generating funds from players' sales midway through the campaign could prove tricky. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.